all hell seemed to break loose today in the final 40k. That's a, an understatement. <laughs> all sparked off again by an attack from Cadell. I mean, I know that that's kind of been overshadowed by what happened else, but happened in the rest of the stage, but what did you make of that move? Yeah, it wasn't really an attack. I think, it, you know, he was just getting in the front um, because we knew the road was really narrow and there were a lot of spectators on it, so we wanted to be in the front. We didn't want to be, get tangled up with some crash, you know, because the road was small and, and there were a lot of spectators because that was really a small road. And we knew it, so the plan was to have Cadell near the front. It wasn't an attack. You said yesterday that there were maybe two stages where there weren't opportunities to, to gain back time on, on Sky. Was today perhaps in that case a missed opportunity? No, not a miss, I mean, not a missed opportunity because there was there never presented itself to be an opportunity. Was that because of the parkour or the way that Sky riding on the front? Just the parkour, you know, too far from the last the climb to the finish line. And, you know, it just wasn't enough. T the distance was too large to, to say you had a 30 second advantage over the top. You'd, you'd get caught before the bottom, so it would, be, it would be a useless effort. And let's talk about what happened at the top of the climb, a puncher for Cadell. We saw one teammate wait, but there wasn't a quick wheel change. That's because his, both his wheels were flat too. Really? Yes. He was trying to get a wheel as well. We had five flats on the way up the climb that we didn't even know about in the car, but when Cummings came to Cadell, he was the first rider there, and he, he, his, both his wheels were flat too. So he saw the Mavi car, so he waited there, hoping you'd get some wheels. By then, we got there and we, we changed all those wheels, got everybody going again. Van Garderen, could he have waited and, and given a wheel? Did he, he, I'm assuming he didn't have two flat tires. I, 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 don't, I, I don't know where he was next to Cadell, in front of Cadell, behind Cadell. I don't know the answer to that. Nothing came over the radio? No, nothing came over the radio. And on the descent, eventually everything came back together again. But Cadell did say on the radio, I got a flat. Yeah. That's all we got, but that does, that's, that's, that's the information you work with. And, and in terms of coming back together again on the final, final descent, we saw an attack by Roland and then uh, a couple of teams moved to the front, L Lotto and Liquorgas. What did you make of those, those moves? Well, Roland's was a little, uh, a bit of a, uh, you know, you don't do that. When you know, it wasn't just about us. 40 riders had flats. Levi crashed because of a flat. Brakovic crashed because of a flat. Every 500 meters, there was another rider with a flat tire. So you were doing that. It wasn't a race against us. He was racing against the whole, all his peers. Yeah. A, lot, right. a lot of work that had to come back to, had to had to be made to bring it all back together. Well, yeah, especially because Cadell had two more flats on the way down after the one you saw on the top. How's he feeling right now? He's fine. And the rest of the team? They're all fine. We're fine. And how about you yourself? We, uh, we saw on TV cameras that you took a bit of a spill as well. Yeah, well, that was that was my own clum clumsiness, but uh, I'm fine. <laughs>